Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Draft Seal DSS US 11D self-adhesive teardrop shape uh, gasketing. Let's go over it. That's what the package looks like. Happens to be a 25 foot roll, just a little check mark there. Okay. Also happens to be the D color, which is the dark brown color or bronze made of silicone. I have a package opened up here and we're going to pull a piece of it out so we can start to review it. Okay, here we go. First impressions are that it is supple, thick-walled piece of silicone. Something that I get the impression immediately that it will be uh, long-lasting and durable. First impressions are that I'm satisfied with the quality of it. This is the first time I'm reviewing this product. Um, so the DS, the DSS US 11 is a representation of both the shape and its dimensional properties. You can see it's a teardrop shape. You get the idea of why it's called that. Okay. Dimensionally, and this item is nice uh, because it is a product that is uh, uh, 3 16ths in terms of its uncompressed thickness. So that, that is nice because it will um, obstruct less than something that might be larger. Okay, This is a thicker wall. So if you're, you know, you're at 3 16ths uncompressed, you know, it'll work into a gap that's 3 32 of an inch. Meaning if you had a three foot door and your door is 35 and 13 16 and it's beveled, this would suit that really well. If you had a really tight door, you know, I might say that squeezing it down to a 16th might be a little tough uh, in that regard. Then, of course, the overall width, they've got 11 30 seconds. So, you know, roughly 3 eighths. You know, very close to 3 eighths. The bronze color, as you can see, compared to the white that's also available. Available in typical roll lengths, 7 to 25 foot. 17 foot would be appropriate for a 3 foot by 7 foot door. A 7 foot here and a 7 foot here and a 3 foot here gets you to 17. A 25 foot roll like this would be a very appropriate for like a 6080 double door opening. 8 and 8 and 6, have a little bit left over. Um, Self-adhesive, naturally. A lot of people like this material because uh, when using it for an installation uh, other than maybe what it's intended for, meaning doors and frames, uh, they like it because it's really simple to install. You need scissors. That's what you need. Um, I have personally installed material by Draft Seal uh, and found it to be very substantial, uh, not only as an original installation sort of product, but also to augment existing weather stripping you might have a condition that calls for as much as you can throw at it in terms of filling an opening. Uh, and my practical experience of that would be having a building with a shop in the back that dominates 80% of the building and then a showroom in the front. You've got workers in the back making noise, dust. Okay, Showroom, you don't want either of those two components. When the summertime, the back and front doors of the building are open and that wind just comes through, carrying all the dust through the sound's going to come pretty much regardless. And I've been able to add material uh, from Giraffe Seal like this to an existing double door separating the spaces. Um, and noticed that it was not only retarding the sound uh, noticeably, but uh, preventing the transmission of dust because I could see the dust pattern that I would occasionally clean off. So I know the material was effective. Giraffe Seal has this material in different typical sizes. So if the DS11 isn't the size that you need, uh, you know, review the rest of their product catalog. Um, there is a link below this video to the instructions. Uh, and this video now is going to go over uh, the instructions. I've installed this material um, a number of times and have found uh, through practical experience, what are those points that you want to be aware of when installing this? First of all, this material is going to be used for uh, application in the uh, said earlier just for weatherization uh, but also it's listed for use on fire doors 
So you could have a listed opening that requires a smoke seal sort of installation or a fire rated gasket installation. And this material um, is compliant with that. Um, not that it's optional to install it, it's required. So that's another area where this is going to come in in terms of use. Now the installation. I've installed this material like I've said. Here's, here are the cliff notes of that as I use the instructions as a, as a guideline. Uh, first of all, the storage. What they're saying is, and I generally don't find that clients, contractors, building engineers, homeowners end up storing this material for a long time. But if you do, uh, keep in mind that it has a limited shelf life. Got to use it within six months. Piece of ain't going to stay forever. Uh, cool, dry area. 50 to 100 degree temperatures. Uh, you know, and there you go. Don't don't buy it if you think you're going to use it two years down the road. The adhesive's not going to work, especially if you're installing it on a fire rated opening. That adhesive must perform perfectly. Now, moving on to installation. Surface preparation. The surface area must be free of dust, mold, dirt, oil, moisture. Okay, it must be utterly clean and free of that information or that material. It is so critical that you install that uh, onto a frame that is free of dust and debris. You were waiting for me to have a dramatic introduction of something new. Okay. There it is. Sorry. It is so critical that they include an alcohol wipe for the frame. It's that important. I've installed this material the first time I did it. The frame was, I cleaned it um, somewhat marginally well. Came in the next day and it was all detached uh, is the bottom line on that. You definitely don't want any detachment to what you're working on. And it was a result of having a small amount. It was a result of not using the included alcohol swab. Um, uh, and it was a result of residual dust, and it was a result of the cloth that I used left some residual material on the face of the frame. Must be completely clean. Uh, if the paint uh, is not completely cured, like at least a week, wait. Don't install it till you're ready to go with cure, uh, etc. Um, surface temperature must be at least 72 degree. Both parts must be at uh, room temperature, meaning don't install it on an exterior door that's, you know, outside and it's 18 degrees out. That's not going to work. Um, step three, cleaning agents should be employed which do not leave a residue, alcohol wipe included, acetone, etc. Be careful with acetone. Um, also, unique to draft seal, buff or lightly rough the surface to increase the bond strength of the material. Depending on what you're dealing with, you don't want to rough it up too much uh, and make a lot of additional dust, but you're going to, you know, give it some texture, additional surface area. If it was me, uh, and I've not had to go to the point of uh, roughing up the surface, but it w if it was me, I'd probably use some, you know, 80 grit, uh, and I would be very careful and delicate with that, uh, and just give myself some additional surface area. Installation. Remove approximately 36 inch of paper backing from the silicone gasket. It means peel away three feet of this. Being careful not to touch it with, they say, dirty or sweaty hands. Don't touch it at all. You don't get any dust on it. Now, I have found in my practical experience that's far too much of this material to try to hold in your hand, okay? Because, first of all, the temptation is to pull it taut, to stretch it. Overnight, you'll find that it will resume its normal space and come detached. Also, you'll unintentionally bump it onto the frame, and you definitely don't want to do that whatsoever. Now moving on to step two of the installation, it says position the silicone in the rabbet of the stop and press in place without stretching the silicone. Talked about that earlier. You want to push it firmly onto the frame. You don't want to do this and you don't want to pull it. It will fail. Uh, this material is marginally elastic and if you stretch it out, it's going to seek back its normal position. So word to the wise on that. Um, step three, remove next 36 inch of paper. Re step two until complete. Um, again, I like short uh, sections, you know, a foot. You know, the lines on a frame are really straight, so you're going to see if there's any waviness in this installation, and I've seen very poor 
installations, um, and I've seen those that are exceptional. So, um, you know, if you're looking for that kind of thing, you know, take your time and make it look nice. Don't run it in a continuous run naturally. You're going to want to cut it to length. Scissors, even miter it. I like putting the head in first and then bringing putting the head in first and then bringing my jams down. It's the way I prefer to do it. Work from that inside corner. It's more critical. Even leave the jams a little bit long because you can trim them with a, a utility blade at the very end there. Um, I, I simply found working with a shorter length to be more manageable and put me in a position of not, um, you know, in order to get it get a straight line, you've got to stretch it a little bit and then start to push it on and, and it's that pulling it is what makes me nervous about the installation. Um, good quality product. I wouldn't hesitate to use this draft seal material uh, for any personal project or suggest that anyone use it professionally. Uh, available uh, in several different you know size combinations as we said. And draft seal is a full line manufacturer of, of a comprehensive offering of weather stripping and the link to the manufacturer's catalog shows that. Any questions about the Draft Seal DSS US 11 in a D finish or any other Draft Seal product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.